Foundation. In today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to use some drill bits. Yep, so we were going to do a tool, but a lot of you guys asked on our how to use a drill video, how to use drill bits. Yes, so. so we have a bunch of different bits to show you guys from drilling holes to screwing screws, or should I say driving screws, <laughs> the technical name. But we're going to get into all that right now. Whether you're a beginner or you've been DIYing like us and I've just been winging it the whole way, we're going to teach you how to do it right. Here's the basics. Okay. We're going to show you what to do and what not to do and we're going to show you why. So our most commonly used drill bit for drilling holes is the twist bit. We like this because you can drill metal, wood, plastic, not everything, but those three definitely. So what I like to use these for the most is to make a hole before we drill in a screw. Yeah. Why do you need to make a hole before you put in a screw? The number one reason is you don't want to split your wood. So if you're using hard woods, you definitely have to pre-drill. I guarantee you it's going to split the wood. I've experienced this, trust me. Softer woods like pine, you can use a self-tapping screw, which doesn't require pre-drilling. But let me tell you, if you were doing a project where you really want the wood to come out perfect and you're in doubt, just always pre-drill no matter what. Because even with the self-tapping screws, I have experienced some cracking, yep. whether it's soft wood or hardwood, it doesn't matter. Just happened yesterday. Ah, it did. <laughs> Why do you have to wait? Ready to crack some wood? Hardwood splits. This is why you pre-drill, guys. Example wow. number one. Wow, split free. Look at that. Softwood. Do you trust us now, guys? So not only will you use this so you don't split your wood, but the reason I like to use it personally is because I suck at drilling in a screw straight. So if you make a hole first, then you can follow it up with the screw. It's nice and easy, goes in straight. And you're probably thinking, well, I have that problem no matter what. But we're gonna show you a really cool drill bit that helps keep that screw in place, so stay tuned. A couple tips to keep in mind when using the twist bit. If you don't want splinters around the surface where you're drilling your hole, you can add painter's tape and then drill through the tape. And what that will do is it'll keep the wood in place when you're drilling that hole. So like we mentioned, we like to use these bits to make a hole before we add a screw. So now you're probably wondering, well, how do I know which size bit to use for the screw size that I have? And we have a tip for that. Yep, so there's two ways to do this. One, they make a chart. You can look it up online. We'll actually put a picture right here. If you're using a specific number screw to match that with the correct size drill bit. If you don't want to look up the chart or you don't have a chart handy is the old school method. Basically you take the screw and you hold the drill bit in front of the screw. You line it up and you want the drill bit to be the same diameter of the screw, but not including the threads. So you want the threads to be able to show but not the diameter of the screw when holding that drill bit in front of the screw. And that will give you a perfect size to clear out room for your screw to go into, but it'll also allow the threads to catch onto the wood to give you a nice tight hold. If you do it the diameter of the thread of the screw, then your hole is gonna be too big. Yeah. It's not gonna be very secure. We always like to go a little smaller if we're guessing between two sizes, because if you go bigger, you can't really go back. <laughs> That's right. Take it from us. We've got the same size drill bit here, but there's a little bit of a difference on how you use it and how you attach it to the drill. So let me show you. This is used to tidy, to tidy, <laughs> tidy whitey. All right, this bit here is just a perfect circle. They have some flat edges around this. And what that's used for is to line it up with the teeth in your drill chuck. Now this one has a quick connect. It's really simple. I love it because I can use this on my impact drill. I can use it on a quick connect extension drill bit, which I actually used in our previous video. So it's really great. I love it. Simple to use, simple to connect. You can change out your bits really quick. We have a drill that has a chuck on it. So we're able to attach different types of bits, but if you have an impact driver, then you really can only use ones that have this end on it. So just keep that in mind when purchasing your bits. If you get a set, make sure that it'll fit in your drill because that would not be fun if you get home and you can't use your new bits. 
So now we're gonna show you how to attach the drill bit to the drill. So we're gonna start with the more difficult ones, which aren't the quick connect. <laughs> so the first thing you wanna do is open that chuck up all the way. Refer back to our how to use a drill video if you don't know the technical names for the different parts on your drill because we will be saying those words. So right. if you don't know them, you may need to watch that video. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up that chuck by twisting it so that the teeth are fully open. And then we wanna slide the bit in and start tightening up that chuck. You really wanna make sure that the teeth on the chuck line up with the flat surfaces on the drill bit. This is really important so that your drill bit doesn't spin around in the chuck because we want it to spin into the wood. So you wanna get a nice tight grab on there, tighten up the chuck by twisting it the other way that you did to loosen it. <laughs> and then you're all ready to drill a hole. So now we're gonna go over how to add the bit into an impact drill. As we mentioned, only certain bits fit in these. So this set will not work but the ones that have the quick connect on the end will fit in this drill. So all you're gonna do is put it until it clicks and then it's locked into place, that easy. Yeah, very simple. No twisting involved. But the only thing I don't like about this drill is, again, only certain bits fit in it. So yeah. that's annoying, but this does hammer while it drills. So it is more powerful than the other drill that we showed you guys. And when you want to remove it, you'll just pull the little locking mechanism that your bit is connected to and it's gonna pop right out. Yeah, it's super easy, as well. quick to change them out. So another really cool thing about using the impact drill with the quick connect bits is this extender. And so rather than having to release the lock on the drill bit every time, if you're using multiple different screw types, what you do is you slide the extender into your drill bit and then you can quickly exchange your drill bits from here. So there is no locking mechanism on the extender, but there is a magnet. So it'll keep your drill bit in place. And a lot of times if the magnet's powerful enough, it'll magnetize your drill bit, which will help keep your screws in place too. So it's multifunctional and it's really great. I love it. I use it for almost every project. Yeah. Now we're gonna show you guys some different types of driving drill bits for multiple different types of screws. Really easy to use, super handy for any project. And driving, in case you are curious, is basically drilling a screw in. Yes, driving the screw into the wood. So we have this cool little handy kit here. It has a variety of drill bits. And most of the time when you buy screws from the hardware store, they will come with the bit that you need for the screw. So don't feel like you need every bit in the world. Yes, that's true. Because most of the time your screw will come with it. All right, so our drill bit case comes with two different types of drill bits. One bit has the quick connect on the bottom. It's ready to go ahead and slide into that impact drill. But the other one is much smaller and it has no quick connect and you're probably wondering, well, how do I use this? <laughs> Don't stick it in your quick connect. It's not gonna lock in place and it's probably not gonna have a good grip. So what you wanna do is you wanna stick this into your extender. I have put it directly into a drill though. Multiple times. <laughs> Don't recommend it. Yeah, it falls out. Just go ahead and use that extender. It'll make your life so much easier and it'll make the job quicker when you need to exchange your bits. All right, so you remember I told y'all about that super cool way to keep your screw straight without the bit slipping and going into your hand or anything crazy like that that I've experienced? Well, they have this little sleeve bit is what I like to call it. You take that little small bit, you slide it into your extender. Magnetized. Your magnetized extender <laughs> with the sleeve. And this way, once you stick your screw on here, you slide the sleeve over, it'll keep your, your screw in place. You don't have to keep your hands anywhere around here. Probably my favorite extender bit. I'm also gonna show you how to match up your different Phillips bits with the screws so that you don't strip those screws when you're drilling them in place. Wow, that's gonna help me. <laughs> so even Jen here is going to learn. Alright, so when working with star bits, they're a little more simple than Phillips bits and the reason is because you only have a small and a large and they only fit for the type of screw that you're using. Whereas Phillips bits have multiple different sizes and we'll get into how to use those. But you can see, it's a really snug fit, there's no wobbling. I'm actually trying to wobble this here and it's not moving at all. It's really snug, as is this one. Now let's flip them and see what happens. And when you flip them, you see a lot of wobbling. You can move this back and forth a little bit inside the screw. That is bad. That's gonna strip the screw. So this does not fit for this screw. Now the big one doesn't even go in the small one, so clearly that doesn't work. <laughs> all right, so notice that the tips of these are all slightly different. 
and so is the screw head. The big difference between these two, if you look tip to tip, to so notice the size difference, and then if you look at the screw hole difference, big difference there. So I wonder which ones are we gonna match up? This big one fits in here snug. Look at that. There's no gaps, it fits really snug. But if you stick the small one in there, look at the gap. Look at the movement there too, that's terrible. So those are all of our tips with using drill bits, putting them in your drill, and actually driving a screw in. So we can go over how to use the hole saw bits and all of that good stuff. If you guys are interested, leave it in the comments below, but it would have made this video too long yes. and a little too complicated. So we're gonna save that for another day. Let us know if you guys would wanna see it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.